Hi there, this is Jack from the Spitfire Audio Customer Experience team. In this video, I'm going to give a demonstration of how to use UACC within Pro Tools. Firstly, UACC is a standard in which you can change articulation. The articulation changes depending on the value of MIDI CC number 32. For example, if you set MIDI CC number 32 to equal a value of 1, you would get an articulation change to the long articulation. Alternatively, if you set the MIDI CC32 value to be 7, you would trigger a consort articulation. In Pro Tools, this behaves slightly differently because you don't have access to MIDI CC32 as automation. For example, if you go to the controllers, you can see, firstly, there's no 32 here. If you add or remove a controller from the list, it jumps from 31 to 33. So, how do you set up UACC in Pro Tools? From the spanner on the contact patch, we can click this and go to the padlock on the expert view. We can then lock the patch to only receive UACC articulation switching. On the actual instrument patch itself, go to program change and using the pencil tool, add in a little block. In the top right hand corner of this dialog box, we can see controller 32. In this, you can input a value. To start with, I'm going to input value number 1. Moving further down the arrangement, I'm going to add another value. So again, click, and this time I'm going to select CC 32, number 7. Now, if you watch the articulations in contact, when I hit play, you'll notice they change from a long articulation to a consordino articulation. You can tell which articulation responds to which UACC value by simply clicking on the articulation in contact. Then, on the sidebar in the left hand side, we can see that it displays a UACC value. This means, for example, if I wanted to create a value that selected the pizzicato articulation, it would be a value of 56. So again, using the pencil, controller 32, and enter 56. If you have any further questions about this, please reach out to us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks.